So in the last video, we were applying the first fundamental theorem of calculus to an actual problem. Now I'm going to do the same thing, only this time I'm going to make the problem a little bit harder. So this time we're going to find the second derivative of big f of x, where big f of x is the definite integral from x to negative 5 of t squared minus t minus 6 dt. Now, here's the thing. When I was using my first fundamental theorem of calculus, the x had to be the upper limit, had to be on top. In this case, my x is on the bottom. So that's the first thing I've got to fix. The first thing I need to make sure happens is my x is the upper limit, is on top. So the way to fix that is to change the sign. Essentially, take this f of x and make it negative. That switches the upper and lower limits, so now I'm in the right place. Now, the second thing I want to remind you of, in the last video, I talked about how the lower limit needed to make sure that this was a continuous function. Since this is a polynomial, it's continuous everywhere, so it doesn't really matter what the bottom number is in this case. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take the derivative of this because I have to take the first derivative before I can get to the second derivative. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the first derivative of this. And again, the bottom number's not going to matter so much, but I do need to remember to carry down that negative. So I'm going to carry down that negative and then again, just kind of basically plugging in X. I'm going to get X squared minus X minus six. All right. So now to get the second derivative, all I'm going to do, take the derivative of that. So F second derivative of X is equal to, again, make sure you keep that negative. All right. Derivative of X squared is two X derivative of negative X is negative one. And the derivative of any constant term is just zero. So I don't even have to worry about that negative six at the end anymore. All right, so there's my final answer. The second derivative of big F of X is equal to negative of two X minus one. You could also write that as negative two X plus one. Just distribute the negative. Both of them are correct. There you go.